Right. Hello, I'm Gordon and I'm your museum artist for this session. And in this session, we'd like to invite you to make a finger full of fossils. Or maybe not fossils so much as the animals that used to live here, the animals that were living in the ancient seas that gave us the limestone that Buxton is built on and built of in many places. Our limestone comes from a time, a time before dinosaurs, before pteranodons and pteranosauruses, before giant marine reptiles. Our limestone was made about 300 million years ago in shallow tropical seas and there they were animals like ammonites and trilobites and crinoids. They were ancient prehistoric sharks and we'll look at making some of the sharks on another session. But in this session, well, let's start with a trilobite as an example. I just need a scrap bit of card, a pencil, a pen for colouring in, some scissors for cutting out, and a stapler. And to do this, I fold my card in half, do a quick drawing of half a trilobite. I'm going to do this one very quickly. Cut him out, or her. We're not quite sure how you work out the gender of a trilobite. I'll hang on to that card and use it in a minute. Open my trilobite up. Here we go. Complete that so it's nice and symmetrical. I'm going to do this very quickly. So you could take a bit longer, make it a bit neater. And, of course, nobody knows what colours trilobites are, so you could decide for yourself. There's my uncoloured in trilobite. Now, I'm going to take that scrap card, cut off a strip, roll it round, staple that, tuck that inside my trilobite, and I'm going to staple him, her, or it, like that, so it keeps it a little bit folded. Tuck a finger down there and send a trilobite for a walk. Of course, if you made a few, you could have some fingers full of trilobites that could go running about the house. You could take them for a walk, take them into the garden perhaps if you have a garden, and you could fill them, film them exploring under the flower beds. If you haven't got a garden, you could always have them crawling across the ocean bed of your bed. You could have them scaling the coral reefs of the cushions. You could lose them in the dense jungles of the bookcase. Finger puppet trilobites could go almost anywhere and tell almost any story you wanted them to. the trilobites. I've taken a big bit of card, folded it in half again, drawn my ammonite shell here, but when I cut it out, I cut out two of them and then decorate them. And now, because we have all these tentacles at the front, I did a separate bit of card and did a tentacly bit with some googly eyes. And this is what I'm going to roll round and make into my finger strip like that. Quick staple, get rid of the extra card. And then I'm going to build my ammonite around that. Now I've got to make sure he's coming out the right way. Like so. That does that. Oh, we're falling all over the place just now. There we go. So let's staple that in there. One, two, I'm going to put another one up there. Look at this. I've lost an eyeball, so I'm just going to trim that out of the way a bit. Tuck my fingers in, and there we have a finger puppet ammonite. I might want a bit 
more excitement there. So I did have two. I've lost one of them. There it is. I've made two longer tentacles, and I'm going to make these curl by curling them over the edge of a pair of scissors. And then I'm going to tuck those in there on a quick staple to hold them in place. You could always use glue if you wanted something without staples sticking out all over the place. And there we have ammonite and trilobite. So I'm not quite sure how they'd get on. What they'd definitely both be wary of are the Eurypterids. So here is something a bit bigger. Sea scorpions, they were called. Some of them came in at two or three metres long. And if a Eurypterid went swimming across the seabed, you can be fairly sure any trilobite would go scuttling for shelter. And any ammonite would pull back into that nice tough shell. And this big chap I've made exactly the same way as the trilobite. I've put on some claws at the front from extra card. I'm going to see if I can reach my stapler right in there without everything falling to bits, which it's doing at the moment. There's one side, staple the other side. So my fingers can go in there and we have Eurypterid and Trilobite. Maybe scaly Trilobite. And we'll leave you there with fingerfuls of fossils to play with. Please, have a good time. Please, enjoy yourself. Please, send us a copy, a photo perhaps, of anything that you make. Bye for now.